Salut și bine ai venit la Banii Mișcare, emisiunea de înțelepciune financiară cu sfaturi pentru oameni și businessuri inteligente. Am văzut importanța eficienței energetice și prietenoase cu mediul pentru o dezvoltare sustenabilă, așa că este momentul să vorbim despre proiecte concrete de succes în acest domeniu. Uh, we will switch to English. We have our guest today, Mr. Adam Jan Jenjek. He is the president for the European uh, Eastern Europe uh, region of a company specialized in products and services for sustainable uh, energy use. Welcome at uh, Bani Mishkare, Adam, uh, and thank you for uh, being with us. Thank you for, uh, for the great invitation. Adam, let's start about the, speak about the trends. Why do you think there is so much talk on the energy efficiency Uh, this period and uh, um, what do you think will happen in the future? Is this the, one of the most fast-growing uh, domains in, in the business? Yeah, analyzing the mega trends, we can see clearly that the world is focusing on green and uh, no doubt that the green energy is our future. But it cannot simply exist, exist without uh, energy efficiency. That means that uh, first we need to focus on the reduction of the amount of the energy that we use and, and then we can shape the, the future. And the energy efficiency is playing a crucial role here and, uh, and definitely essential is to, uh, to, uh, towards energy security or independency from the fossil fuel. Another thing which needs to be taken into consideration by analyzing what is going on is, the, is our bills. Uh, because, you know, seeing what is happening around us with the energy market and how prices are rising rapidly, we need solutions that will quickly and uh, in, a, in a most effective uh, way prepare us before the next uh, winter uh, season and, uh, and definitely also protect us from the impacts of the higher energy prices. Uh, it, I also observe that there is a lot of the stereotype thinking uh, that you know energy efficiency is something around you know sitting in a dark cold room in a sweater, but the, but that's not true really. Uh, you know the good thing is the technology is behind us, and uh, and then uh, you know we we simply can can uh, afford them, and uh, and we can uh, you know get the access to the latest uh, uh, technologies uh, without limiting our our comfort. Uh, we need a bold decision and uh, definitely something which I would call a, a trend setting by the, by the policies. And uh, this is what, what we also observe uh, when, when it comes to the energy efficiency as a horizontal principle in the European policy nowadays. Exactly. Uh, also part of the resilience facility program with uh, green transition and uh, also focusing on digitalization and technology to improve our comfort, but as well to make it sustainably on the long uh, term. So, Adam, let's talk business because I know the company you represent uh, provides a lot of services and products uh, in, this, uh, in this field. Uh, can you exemplify uh, basically what uh, are you doing and uh, from how much time are you in uh, Romania as well? Yeah, yeah, last year we celebrate 25th anniversary in Romania and we consider uh, Romania as one of the biggest markets in East European region. So, uh, we believe in this market and definitely when When we discuss about the future, we set clearly our goal that we would like to stay as a preferable decarbonizing partner by focusing on the long-term value creation for our customers. And uh, we are uh, providing the solutions and technology in commercial and industrial refrigeration. And also we are in the field of the improving the efficiency of the district heating networks. Mm -hmm. And also I should mention agriculture because this is important uh, or crucial in Romania. We are in, in a process of uh, irrigation, uh, which, is, which is also uh, very, very important for us. Uh, but the most, uh, uh, I would say, focus area, it is a, a building stock. Uh, we are uh, taking part of many of the renovation projects in residential or, or public buildings like schools, kindergartens, hospitals in a various cities around the country and uh, providing the, the individual temperature room controllers uh, with significantly uh, decreasing energy consumption. And uh, as you might probably uh, realize, buildings are playing a crucial uh, role in energy transformation in Romania and uh, elsewhere also. Buildings are responsible for 36, 36% of the European carbon emission. And, uh, and this is an untyped potential for the energy savings. And also from our bills, I mentioned about that, uh, 70% of our average household 
uh, energy bills are spent on heating and cooling. So really the best solution is to focus on the, on the comprehensive and in deep uh, renovation starting from the envelope through the optimizing energy flow, but also exchanging the energy sources. I mentioned about actually coming winter season and because of the complexity of those comprehensive uh, renovation, I think that the easiest or the low hanging fruits here it would be optimizing our technical building systems when we are uh, a service provider and also technological provider for that. Uh, a good example is radiator thermostat valves with the, uh, and a, a good energy saving potential up to even 30% uh, in, with a very short uh, uh, two years or even less than two years average payback time. And, uh, and this is the solution that we are providing. It's a very easy solution with a, a huge uptake also for, for the Romanian market as much as for the European market. And we count it that by implementing uh, this technical building system solutions, we can save a tremendous amount of money. Uh, it is amounted for Europe for that, Adam, Adam, I, I will step in now uh, because I wanted to have a very pragmatic study case in the, in the final part of our discussion. You said about some uh, ratios, uh, cost, benefit, and uh, amortize the, to, to, to have the, the payoff of, of the investment in a so uh, short uh, of, uh, of time. So can you choose a, a study case or a specific uh, example you have implemented with uh, energy uh, efficiency, maybe smart heating, climate, or whatever your choice? And very good, uh, very good question. Actually, let's so let's go to the a simple uh, case study here, and um, and you know we are aiming for the decarbonizing our buildings, and definitely okay. that will uh, need to look into the heating and cooling supply, okay. and uh, moving from the from the fossil fuel to the sustainable solutions, we need to focus on district heating and also the heat pumps, for instance. Uh, uh, by that, we can reduce the emission and by that, we can improve the air quality of our cities in Romania. So the ambition from Europe is to move from 12% as an average covered by the district heating to even 50% in 2050. In Romania, the percentage is actually going to the good direction. So the good example of uh, how we are tackling this potential is the city of are there. And together with the municipality, uh, we support to invest in the refurbishment and developing of the district heating company that integrating uh, multi-energy sources like cogeneration, like geothermal, and also the, the heat pumps. And we took an uh, important part of this project, delivering the solutions like large substations, like controls in the network and flood station for the apartment uh, and uh, houses. And through this project, we managed to reduce significantly the, the energy consumption, but also impacted the lowering the emissions, which means also cleaning up the air that we are breathing. Can you give me an estimation what a significant reduction of uh, consumption means? And it could be up to 30% because we can centralize actually the source of heating. And also what is important to stress here is that we are securing that the technological uptake will be taken by the provider and it will be much more centralized than decentralized or fragmented when it comes to the individual uh, consumers or individual installations. That is great. So hopefully we can see more projects like this in Romania because uh, renewable energy and energy efficiency actually is a key for our uh, sustainable uh, development. Thank you again, uh, Adam uh, Jean Genjac. Uh, for your time and for the very interesting uh, discussion. Thank you. Dragilor, rămâneți alături de noi. După ce am vorbit despre industria eficienței energetice și regenerabile, o să continuăm cu finanțele personale ca să răspundem la noi întrebări adresate de telespectatorii noștri pe adresa bimarondigi24.ro. Până atunci, nu uita, banii sunt întotdeauna în mișcare. Așa că fii înțelept și făi să lucreze pentru tine, familia și afacerea ta.